All right. Tell me about Adam. You guys know Adam? Yes. I love you, Adam. Tell me about Adam. How? What is our? What is our? Our, what is our visual model? What is our what is our model of an atom kind of seem like? Right, what do we have on the inside of the atom? <laughs> so what do we have on the inside of the atom? What's at the what's at the center of the atom? In our just our general framework of what an atom looks like. Okay, we have neutrons and protons, right? And then outside of that, somehow around it, we have the electrons. Is this our understanding of, of what an atom seems like? Yes. Is that cool with you guys? So I'm okay with this too. I'm okay with this too. This seems okay to me. Now, this isn't really what atoms look like. Okay? We don't really know what atoms look like, but this is a model to help us understand the properties of atoms. We know that if you were to look at atoms, they would have super dense areas in the middle, and then around the outside of it, there's significantly less dense areas of negative charge. So high concentration of positive charge, dense areas in the middle, right? And then around the outside, we have um, less dense negatively charged. And they did all sorts of experiments where they put some atoms, like some gold, like a gold foil, and they pounded it really thin. And then they shot like they shot like electrons in, or they shot other protons in. If you shoot an electron mm -hmm. in. Right? If there's an atom here, it might hit it, but if you shoot it here, right, it might miss it. You see what I'm saying? And so they put a screen behind it, and there's all this stuff that goes there. So they, they have, we have this understanding that this is kind of what it looks like, but not, not really. Okay. Not really. Like, we've never seen an electron. No one has ever seen an electron. It's not an actual thing. Okay. All right, okay so far? So here's my deal. This stuff in the middle, this stuff in the middle, the protons, they are the actual fabric of the matter itself, and they are not free to move. Okay? They are not free to move. They are locked in place. They are part of the fabric of the matter itself. They are not free to move. However, outside of that, outside of that, we have the electrons, and the electrons are relatively free to move. Okay? Electrons are relatively free to move. Okay? And depending on the structure of the actual material itself, they may move more or they may move less. I forgot a piece of this demonstration. Ah. That's some tape. I'm used to spell the dust. I don't know what to do, but. What is it? Are you sure? She's annoying me, Mr. Patty. She's annoying you? She started the conversation. Mr. Patty. Oh. This is random for my sister. Hey, does anybody want to chew on this for a little while? Chew? No. Huh? Sure. Well, sure. Is that a genuine question? Have you guys never ever tried to chew on? No. It's no. 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 not fun. No. Why? Um, and you guys are pretty young, so you don't really have. So uh, when we were younger, they used to have, like, if you got like, um, like a little spot of DK in your in your teeth, you had a cavity or something, they used to fill it. Oh. They used to fill it with metal. So long, long, long time they used to fill it with silver. I've never had. Why are you stealing my foil and my food? Don't do that. Why don't you that? That's not appropriate. I love it. What's chewing on it? Was it attractive? So you actually get a uh, electric reaction in your mouth, or the electric reaction in your mouth, and it literally shocks your face. It's horrible. Uh, only if you've ever had a cavity. Well, if you have metal. Right. <laughs> okay, you ready? So, watch. Now, I want you to watch closely. You ready? I'm going to do this to the paper. Okay? We know that it attracts the paper. Is that cool? Is it going to attract the foil also? Yes. But what do you notice about the foil? Is it more attract? I mean, I got to get pretty close to here. I got to get pretty close to the paper for it to attract. Yes. What happens with the foil? It's pretty easy. It jumps pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. In fact, something really interesting happened here. Okay. It jumps 
But some of the charged particles actually go onto the foil and then it gets repelled. That was a weird thing that just happened, yeah. but it doesn't matter. I'm a little surprised by that. Does the foil move more than the paper? Yes. yes. Okay, and the reason the foil moves more than the paper is because the foil is made out of metal. metal. Yes? And metals, we call them good conductors, yes? Because their electrons are more free to move than the paper. Is that cool? So the charged part, the positively charged particles, the protons, are locked into the fabric of the material. Yes? They are not free to move. However, what do we know about the electrons? They are free to move, and depending on the material itself, they may be more free or less free. Is that cool? But they are free to move. So here's where we are. Here's our wall. Yeah. Here's our balloon. Yeah. How is it possible? How is it possible that this balloon that is charged, right, has an excess amount of charge, positive or negative, we don't know which one yet, can attract and be attracted to the neutral wall. You see my issue? You, you see my issue? Okay, let me draw a representation. Okay, let me draw a representation here. So let's say this is the walls. Okay. Now, did anybody rub the wall? No. Okay. So what does that mean about the wall? Neutral. It's neutral, yes. Which means what about the distribution of pluses and minuses? Equal. Equal distribution of pluses and minuses? Yes? Is that okay? So when I go to draw them, I'm just going to draw them. How's that look? You okay with that? So let's say, for the sake of argument for now, that our balloon is negatively charged. If our balloon is negatively charged and I bring it close to here, if there's somehow, Josh, let's use the Josh hypothesis. He says, when you rub the balloon with that fur, you actually transferred some excess electrons onto the balloon. That's what Josh said, yes? Would that leave the balloon negatively charged? What's going to happen to the wall when you bring this close? Okay. I want you to check your neighbor and see if your neighbor knows what's going to happen to the wall if you bring it close. Check your neighbor now. What's going to happen? Yes! Oh, 